is up block fam we've made the trek we're finally here in gibsonton or gibbs town or i didn't know it's all that i did not just totally wasn't filming that let's check out what this uh chopper show is all about guys we got Shay Lisi here we got Jared Williams Shay Tree over here so we're standing in front of a uh, custom build that Williams has done here so if you want to there you go they're awesome. ruining this video it's just like come totally on, hijacking guys. your stuff man you thought you'd just hang out with sweet Jared Williams oh jeez so this is a 1951 Triumph Thunderbird uh, based off of David Mann's very first painting, David Mann painted the painting titled Hollywood Run in 1969. Uh, it was the very first motorcycle painting that he had ever done and it got produced and uh, published in Easy Rider magazine. Nice. But in that painting uh, is the representation of this motorcycle. This is a 1951 Triumph Thunderbird. Uh, 650cc, a lot of super cool, rare, period correct chopper parts on it. Um, a lot of people from the motorcycle community uh, kind of came together throughout the years, gave me a lot of cool parts and stuff just laying on the shelf. I said, hey man, let's let's throw all these parts together and uh, build a chopper out of it. And there you got Hollywood Run. Uh, it's got some super cool engraving on the uh, timing cover and the transmission cover by System Neo Dutch from Instagram. Uh, kind of gifted it as uh, a gift from helping out Forgotten Angels with the other bike and uh, slapped that on the bike. And I think it really kind of puts the cherry on top of the, the pie. So that's what it is, man. Hollywood Run. Super cool so bike. the other bike you auctioned off through Forgotten Angels? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Right up on the uh, hill. And uh, amazing bike. We raised $106,200 with that Damn. bike. And uh, it's got to be the world's most expensive Triumph that's ever existed. <laughs> right. I keep looking in your eyes instead of the camera, but oh, I'm, you're I'm golden, used man. to be in the one holding the right, camera. Right, you're golden, you're golden. You want me to start it up for you? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, let's start it up. Yeah. Her two yeah, wheels. Her two beers. Beer. She brought me a beer. She's a good friend. She also got a tattoo. You want, let me see, let's see it. I got like one ever. It's a tramp stamp. It's not a tramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you got it on your ankle, didn't you? Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's the same one Chaylee's got. Some kind of plant. It's a good welder. All right, guys, so we're uh, wrapped up here at the Chopper Show. A lot of cool bikes, especially even just like in the parking lot. Cool vibe, I like it. So we're headed to the camp out, see what that's all about. We're gonna get some food, get some drinks. Drink. Man. My name's Blockhead, and I ride a Harley. Listen to it. I know you're jealous. Eric, you know who's never been punched in the face? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's one of the three of us here, yeah. and he's the one excited about it, so... <laughs> Wes has never been punched in the face. He hasn't? Nope. I mean, like, like real punched. Like, actually you're, punched in the face. You're mine, <laughs> I'll punch you back. Uh, nah, no I'm gonna you keep, won't. I'm going to keep my gloves on all night. Ooh. You ever get punched in the side of the head in the temple? Maybe. Oh, you have been. You're waking the neighbors! Should be sleeping at 5:45 p.m. anyway. Oh, my ears hurt. I'm not just going for this. <laughs> <laughs> Bad feel was like. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got here to the Forgotten Angels campground. First impressions, property, absolutely beautiful. I'm about to bring a trailer in my Airstream. No, I don't have an Airstream. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're getting the tour here real quick. I feel like I've been here before because of all the Shade Trees videos already. Yeah, yeah. Know? Well, we've got the two lakes. I got to turn the, uh, the, the thing on. We've got a fountain over there. But it's 12 and a half acres. Seven of it is lake. The rest of it is just beautiful property. So we're going to build our house right here. Um, we're going to do an A-frame. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, That'll be cool. Um, have, you, have you heard of the Treehouse Masters? Well, they came and, and um, surveyed the property and gave us some suggested locations for our treehouse. We're going to put a treehouse right in this area right here. It'll overlook the lakes and the rest of the property. Um, we'll use that as an Airbnb. We're actually starting our own campground, motorcycle campground. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm sure. So yeah. it'll be six A-frame, little tiny A-frames, specifically for motorcycles. Um, they'll all have AC, and then we'll have six A-frames that are just for either, you can put your tent underneath them, or you can put your motorcycle on it if it's raining or whatever. Like Dude, that. you had me at air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll um, be a success just based on that. So back here, we're gonna put, like the tree house will be over here. We'll put two um, A-frame Airbnb. So we'll have four a Airbnbs on the property. And how many, that, how much property is it? How many acres? It's 12 and a half acres. 12 and a half acres. Yeah. Yeah. So there'll be like six A-frames in here. There'll be six A-frames over here. And then there'll be some traditional camping right here. Like as soon as you get back in here, like the temperature drops you can feel it under the trees it does it's, it's, nice. it's beautiful it's back nice. here we have a bunch of hammocks that we throw up um we were going to put them out here but then you know the place has got packed so fast we couldn't put them up so this was for you <laughs> I, I, okay. I've seen this in a picture, but uh, oh, I haven't seen it in person yet. <laughs> so, uh, I don't claim the signage, I claim the cabin. <laughs> Josh has done so much for us, but he brought the trailer, he got the RV. So he, he said, you're coming, he goes, man, give us the blockhead. So I was like, all right. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Had we come last night, I definitely would have put it to use. Uh, but so that is... Wow. Tonight. <laughs> <It's clear. laughs> we're going to check it out real quick. Yeah, <laughs> two ahead. wheels. Man, welcome, Matt. So this is, this is going to be your place. But so next time you come down for a weekend, man, this is wow. it. Wow, this is fancy. <laughs> Super cool. Dang, man, you guys <laughs> don't give away complimentary little knives. Give That's awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lose that. <laughs> <laughs> the pavilion there, we call it the Yangling Room. It's uh, the screened-in room. That's where we do all of our food, all of our meetings, all of the counseling for the boys, which is a big part of what we do, you know. Uh, what's really important to us is education, support, and, and it's just loving the, the kids like they're our own. So Cindy and I spend a lot of time with each of these boys individually, and so we'll spend a lot of time in there just chilling out with them. And So like these these little houses are like the uh, miniature houses you're talking about yeah, here? Yeah, well the tiny are they... homes are over there. This is actually new for us. This is I brought this all the way on a trailer from St. Augustine. Oh, wow. <laughs> we paid a thousand dollars for it. We have no, as big as the property is, there's really no place to entertain. So we put this here and this is a place where we can just chill out and enjoy ourselves and, and just talk and Kind of like a like a little meeting room. Little pub. Yeah, meeting room. This is a little pub. <laughs> a little pub. <laughs> nice. Oh no way. That's so cool. We haven't finished it yet, but we're gonna put some bottles on the wall. We're gonna put some lights around. We literally did this. We finished this last night. It's a it's a place where we can bring people in and have meetings and talk and or just have a couple of drinks at the end of the night, which is, is there a back there? often needed. <laughs> so the tiny homes are all on the far side over there. This is Jason. He has his own tiny home. He's been here the second longest. So Jason, Junior, Tim, and Joseph, the four boys that have been here the longest, all have their own tiny homes. And they pay for them themselves. Forgotten Angels pays for everything that's on the inside. They pay for the shell. So we buy them as sheds, and then we convert them flooring, drywall, insulation. Um, we give them uh, mini splits as opposed to window units, which is a little bit better and more effective. Right. Um, all the cabinets, um, we get you know some donations of beds and with that, and that goes all to the boys. One of the things that's really important for us is that these boys are allowed to have pets. Nice. There's no group homes in America that will allow them to have pets. Um, they teach us a lot of responsibility. The re well, the responsibility and the I companionship, know. <laughs> you know, yeah. they don't care that they're foster kids. All they care about is that they love them. And that's what they need because the dogs love them right back, and so oh, it's it's, a, it's such a reciprocal relationship. You know, they they never fail them. When Jason went away to, to visit his mom for a couple of weeks, when he came back, his dog Jay Buddy was like just like beside himself, you know, happy and stuff like that. And that is unconditional. So for us to be able to provide them with that with some unconditional love, Cindy and I we provide it also. We make sure that no matter what that we're there for them, you know? Like, we made mistakes, I made tons of mistakes, but my parents never let me down. They never turned their back on me, they were always there. So that's a value that I have instilled in these young boys also, and they're starting to 
get an idea of that. Awesome. You know what? They can be better than what they came here as. And so a lot of our boys, like Junior's, are saying, you know, he drove for the first time to Southbound and down from here on his own motorcycle. I'm like, I swear to God, I get choked up just thinking about it. But that same young man built an eight by eight shed for a young man that he knew was coming that didn't have a place to stay. Took all his tools out, took all his bicycles out of it because he was converting uh, um, uh, bikes into motorized bikes. Put a bed in there, went to the store, used his own money to buy snacks for this young kid that he'd never met. That's what this is all about, you know. Um, the resources that we gain from this weekend, as well as the raffle, will help us move into Atlanta, North Carolina, St. Augustine, and then my oldest sister Karen is going to be opening an office in Toronto, Canada. Wow. So, big expansion. We're gonna, oh, yeah. Awesome. So, we just hate group homes. They're, they're just terrible places. I can't even stress how bad they are, you know? All right, guys, we're taking a break for food and not alcohol. Also, we got a Bilbo Wagons. Oh, my goodness, it's a Bilbo Wagons. Hello. No, you don't get human food. So, um, mustard on pizza, not intentional, but actually pretty good. Ew. <laughs> like, ew. ew. Dip. Cheese pizza? mustard. I actually like mustard. Yeah, you know what? That's not too bad. Right? It doesn't work? That's <laughs> like a that. total accident. Have you, ever, you ever had mustard on pizza? No. Can I try it? Yeah, it works out. That's why I wanted to film. Just so I don't lose that because it's going to get lost. <laughs> so now I can... Unsubscribed. Now I can... Yeah, you guys should. Blocked. Yeah. Unsubfriended. Blocked. <laughs> the winner is underneath Shay's hat and we don't know who it is. I was gonna say, like, tuck it into the bill. I'm hyperventilating right now. You are shaking. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, man. This is what everyone's here to do. This is bad people doing oh, good things, gambling for a good cause. You guys want to know something? You guys want to know something? Wow. The winner is underneath Shay's hat. <laughs> I don't know who it is. Shay doesn't know who it is. It's underneath her hat. Because of your generosity, for because of all the thousands of people that donated in the form of raffle tickets, I just can't thank you enough. I hope this this message through YouTube, through space and time, gets out to all those people so I can tell them how much I um, how grateful we are for for what they've done and what it means to the young men that we call our family. So uh, without further ado, we have a second place. The second place winner is Evan Thompson. What? Evan Thompson. Evan Thompson. Second place. Kevin. You win 500 bucks. What? Is Kevin here? $500. Are you Kevin? Get over yes. here, man. Congratulations. Yeah. What did you ride here on? A 300cc moped crotch rocket. Oh man! All right, the winner of the 2020 Road King Kong. We're announcing right now. You should have picked up your phone. Michael Griffiths. Give it up, baby. Yeah, yeah, guess what? It doesn't matter that he's not here. We're all here for a good cause. Yeah. Michael, you should have picked up your phone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it says, reserved for Road King Kong, Forgotten Angels, Shade Tree Surgeon, Burt's Barracuda, Harley Davidson. Awesome. What I want to say and what I want to leave you guys with right now is the fact that everybody who came up here today, everybody who bought a raffle ticket, and you guys who are standing here right now, you guys who have been here, and multiple people have already come up and said this to me, you can see where every single dollar went. And, you know, everybody wants to win a bike, of course. Everybody wants to win something. I want to win something. Who doesn't like to win something? What you can feel good about is know that every single dollar you spent, you know what you won? Walk around here. Look at the faces of the young men who are here. Yeah. Look at the houses that they have. Look at the motorcycles they're buying. Look at the bank accounts they're opening. Look at the jobs they have. Look at the new lease on life that all these young men got, and that's what you win. And if you want anything more than that, I don't want to hear a single goddamn thing from you because this is absolutely amazing. It's changed my life, and it's hopes to change yours as well. Give it up. Come on. 
This Road King raised $271,000. That's what all y'all did. All I did was talk about it. Yeah. David and Cindy, they do the work. Bert donated the bike. All y'all bought the raffle tickets. All I did was open my big fat mouth. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. We're gonna we're gonna hit the road. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, she choked on a cough drop. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing anything suspicious right now. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious.